And folks, yes, a wonderful insight. However, guess what? It is quiz time. Whee! And let me tell you, after five shows, 20 contestants and hours and hours of deliberation, we've reached the final. We've come galloping towards the final through a sea of treacle <laughs> <laughs> to find four people to fight it out in TV's most criminally difficult quiz even to say. <laughs> We're left with these two returning teams of avid crime thriller fans. It's Chris and Joe and Lisa and Ruth. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> And in just a few moments, one of them, well, not one of them, but one pair of them, meaning two of them, because there's four, <laughs> will be ultimate criminal masterminds. Now, you're playing for the proud title of series champions, and the winners also get to come to the Glittering Crime Thriller Awards and rub shoulders with the likes of Kate Moss, Hello. Sarah Lancashire, <laughs> Keely Hawes, Mark Gattis, Phil Glenister, Saran Jones, Amanda Abingdon, Steve Penberton. Unbelievable lineup. Martin has seen you. He sees what you like. He's not coming. He's made his mind. <laughs> <laughs> the rules are very simple. In this first round, we have 12 crime TV shows and author categories. You'll take turns in answering questions. All right, so you choose a category, answer a question. If you get it right, you'll get one point. Uh, now, here we go. Lisa and Ruth, you won the toss backstage, I understand. Get ready. Choose a category. Columbo. Lieutenant Colombo works for which police department? LAPD. Correct. Guys. Yes. Ruth Rendell, please. What is the name of Ruth Rendell's detective who was played by the late George Baker? Reg Wexford. Yes, Wexford is correct. Girls. Miss Marple. What is the name of Miss Marple's novelist nephew? Not clear. Raymond West. <laughs> Chris and Joe. Luther, please. Idris Elba plays Luther, but what is his first name? Pass him It's one. John. Girls. <laughs> Breaking Bad. What is the name of Walter White's drug dealer sidekick? Adam um, Pinkman, Jesse Pinkman. Correct. Chris Jones. <laughs> Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, please. The characters in Criminal Minds work for the FBI's BAU. Bo, what does BAU stand for? Behavioural Analysis Unit. Correct. Well played. Lisa and Ruth. Ian Rankin. Which Scottish actor played Ian Rankin's detective Rebus on TV before Ken Stott? Pass. It's John Hanna. Chris and Joe. Um, new tricks, please. Which cast member also sings the theme tune for the series? Dennis Waterman. Correct. Girls. Lewis. How did Lewis's wife die? Cancer. No, she was a, a victim of a hit and run accident. Chris Joe. The commander. Please. The lead role of commander Claire Blake was played by which actress? Amanda Burton. Correct. And the time is up. <laughs> Lisa and Ruth. Uh, you have two, but in the lead are Chris and Joe. Very, very good indeed. Nice round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> so, Chris and Joe, you are in the lead. Girls all to play for now. In round two, I'm looking for you to identify a TV show from three cryptic clues. Again, you're taking in turns to answer. The first clue will be worth three points, second two points, and if you correctly identify it from the last clue, of course, you get one point. Lisa and Ruth, you went first last time. So, Joe and Chris, it is your turn now. Here's one of our expert authors, Christ. I'm writing legend Dean Coons with the first clue. The series was based on the book by Kate Summerscale and adapted for TV by Neil McKay. For three points, Chris and Joe. Who do you think that is? Suspicions of Mr. Witch. Uh, we'll go for the, the Suspicions of Mr. Witch. You're very good, Chris, and you're absolutely right. Three points. Oh. Well done. Obviously, Lisa and Ruth, it's now your turn, but we're going to go for a new TV programme now. And, of course, in this, because it's the final, I'm being very generous. If you get it wrong, I'll hand it over. See what we're doing there? Three points. If you get it right first time, two for the second, the third, and a point for the third. OK, uh, Lisa and Ruth, here's Dean Coons now with another clue with another TV show. Please let me know what it is. Thank you. Christopher Eccleston succeeded Ricky Tomlinson as Chief Detective Inspector in this gritty northern drama. No. Don't you don't know it? Don't For three know. points, I'll hand it over. Chris and Joe. Um, have a guess. We're gonna have, just have a guess. Should we have line of, line of duty? No, was that... Was that? <laughs> 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 All right, here is a Chris and Joe. It's now your turn. Here's a Dean Coons with another clue. Geraldine Somerville played DS Jane Penhaligan as the love interest and colleague of the central character. Two points. If you don't get it right, I'll hand it over to the girls. Time's up. We need an answer. No good. Okay, Lisa and Ruth. 
No idea really at all. No. Okay, for the last point, here's Dean with the last clue. The series was created by Liverpudlian screenwriter Jimmy McGovern. Mmm, so. Lisa Ruth, who could that be? I'm sure there's lots of people who know the answer. Well, I, I, there, there are lots of people who know the answer. Unfortunately, none of them are sitting on that bench. We'll hand it over. Chris and Joe, do you know who it is? No. So shall we just sort just of... Just like that? North and South. North and South. No. Cracker. Oh, no. Oh, cracker. Oh, no. Cracker. At the end of those two rounds, the scores are Lisa and Ruth. You know you started off with two. It's still got there. <laughs> right. and, however, Chris and Joe don't have two. They have seven. Oh, so you're way out in the lead with five in the lead, by the way. So it's seven two to you, Chris and Joe. Now this time, you'll both be playing in the final round. And the team who scores the most points at the end will be crowned criminal mastermind champions of 2014. Chris and Joe, you're in the lead and you get to choose first. You have a choice of three categories. So... Which one are you going for? We have Northern Detectives, Pick and Mix, which is, you know, a, a rounded genre type of uh, thing, or Oxford Connection. Go for Northern Detectives, please. You're going to go for yes, Northern please. Detectives. All right, against the clock. Chris and Joe, your time starts now. In Scott and Bailey, who plays DC Janet Scott? Um, Leslie Sharp. Correct. In Taggart, what is the name of the character played by Blythe Duff? Oh. Pass. It's Jackie Reed. What's the name of Inspector George Gentle's right hand man? Sorry? Bacchus. Correct. In DL and Pasco, who plays the straight talking detective? Andy DL. Um. Oh. See him. Um, Warren Park. Correct. The Yorkshire series DL and Pasco is based on the novels of which writer? Reginald Hill. Correct. In which part of Scotland was Detective John Reeves born? Glasgow. It's five. What illegal time is up? Well, there you are, Chris and Joe. You got four right in your questions against the clock, which takes your total, yes, indeed, it takes your total up to 11. Thanks, Mike, for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who's ever actually joined in. Entering into the spirit of the show, that's what I love, you see. He's either enjoying himself or he's a really, really seriously good actor. <laughs> so, uh, Chris and Joe, you now have 11. Lisa and Ruth, if you remember correctly, you only have two, which means you'd need nine to draw and go into a tie-break, or guess what? Ten to win. See what I did there? <laughs> right. Two categories left. We have pick and mix, and then we have the Oxford connection. What do you think? Oh. Pick, pick and mix, please. Nine or more. Are you ready? Yeah. Your time starts now. Law and Order UK, who played the character of DS Ronnie Brooks? Pass. Me! <laughs> <laughs> And serve. Uh, he was a medic. In the army. Uh, before he was Tom Barnaby, John Nettles played which Jersey based cop? Oh, Bergerac. Correct. Which actor played Poirot in the 1978 movie version of Death on the Nile? P.T. Snuff. Correct. Rebus, which Edinburgh bar was his favourite drinking establishment? The Red Line. It's the Oxford Bar. Who wrote? And time is up, I'm afraid. It was a good choice, Pick and Mix. You did really well on that. <laughs> Considering one of your answers was in the living flesh, no further than eight and a half feet away from you. <laughs> At the end of that, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yes, you have four points, Lisa and Ruth, but guess what? The champions, the champions of champions, the mastermind champions of the criminal mastermind underworld type place is Chris and Joe! <laughs> Guess what, folks? That's it for another series of Crime Thriller Club. My huge thanks to my studio guests, Kate Moss and, of course, Martin Comston. Very, very nice to have them along. However, that is the last of our series, but I shall see you one more time in the Crime Thriller Awards later on in October. From all of us here to all of you, good night and thanks for watching. Thank you.